It is an unprecedented find, a perfectly preserved dinosaur embryo inside its egg. This dates back some 70 million years. Researchers were stunned. It was uncovered in China. The fossilized egg actually contains one of the most complete dinosaur embryos ever unearthed. So what can we learn from it? Let's ask Stephen Brusati. He's a paleontologist and professor at the University of Edinburgh and part of the small team of international researchers that's been studying this little baby dinosaur fossil. This is, we're kind of obsessed with it, I have to be honest. This is so cool. It's also incredibly informative for you. When you first learned that you would be able to study this, what was your reaction? Well, I'm obsessed about it too because this is just the most exquisite fossil. And, and I remember it was right before the pandemic started, I was sent some images of this by my colleagues in China. And when I opened those images, I was just blown away because this is a baby dinosaur inside of its egg, just getting ready to hatch. And it was captured in stone as this fossil. And we just don't have any other fossils quite like this. So to me, this is really like a, almost like an ultrasound image we might have of, of a human baby. It's, it's there, this fossil is showing us this little baby dinosaur just getting ready to emerge into the world. I have to say, I, I find the images mesmerizing because it's in perfect condition. You have this dinosaur embryo and you can see the tiny, fragile bone structure right there. What have you learned from seeing this in such detail? The detail is incredible. And when you just think about the odds to have a fossil of a baby dinosaur inside of its egg, this egg's about six, seven inches long. It's, it's a delicate little thing. And to have that preserved for 70 million years, it, it's astounding. And not only is it this one in a billion fossil, it, it's actually a quite important fossil because it tells us a lot about how dinosaurs reproduced, how they developed, how they grew. And when you look at these images, this gorgeous artwork that my colleagues uh, in China and Canada put together, I think it's just so relatable. This is a little baby dinosaur inside of its egg. It looks so much like a bird. And if you blinked, you might think this was a chicken or a sparrow. And that's because it has that exact same posture in the egg. Its head is curled up underneath its arms. That is the same posture that birds have in their eggs. And that's all about a bird, or in this case, a dinosaur, getting ready to develop so its head is in the right position to break through the egg so it can be a successful hatch. So did this confirm some of your earlier research or some of what we knew about the progression from dinosaur to birds? It did, and that's what's really neat. So a couple of years ago, I wrote a book, The Rise and Fall of the Dinosaur, just behind me. Sorry, <laughs> on CNN, I have to mention the book, but there's a whole chapter uh, about the dinosaur bird connection. We've known this going all the way back to the time of Darwin, that there was some special relationship between dinosaurs and birds. But just over the last couple of decades, we have started to find fossils of dinosaurs covered in feathers, showing that things like feathers and wings and wishbones and beaks and all of these things that we think of as characteristic features of birds actually evolved tens, hundreds of millions of years ago in their dinosaur ancestors, in T-Rex type of dinosaurs. And now we can add this one to the list. We now know that some dinosaurs, maybe even many dinosaurs, even developed in their eggs just like birds today. And I think that makes them so relatable. And I think when you look at a fossil like this, you're not seeing a movie monster. You're not seeing some colossal alien primeval beast. You are seeing an animal, an animal that was growing, that was developing, and that gives us a sense for dinosaurs as real, living, breathing, growing animals that ruled our world so long ago. Your enthusiasm is infectious here. Look, we've all seen Jurassic Park. How is it that this egg was so perfectly preserved? It wasn't amber, right? Which is what it was in the movie. I mean, do you know? It's a great question. And, and, it seems to be a, a one in a billion type of preservation. What seems to have happened is that this egg was probably in a nest. Its parents probably would have been protecting those eggs. We know from other fossils that these types of dinosaurs were very caring parents. And then it looks like there was a mudslide that just wiped this egg away. And it buried this egg within the couple of days before it would have hatched. And it, very sadly for this dinosaur, uh, that in case the egg in stone. But luckily for us, that meant it was preserved as a fossil. So 70 million years later, here we are. We get to study it. Professor Stephen Brasati, all I have to say is I wish I had you as a science teacher, man. I mean, honest to God, thank you so much for being with us, you know, and, and explaining this and sharing your enthusiasm with us.
Thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, everybody. You too. Thank you. All right. Here's what else to watch today.